What can me, I do for you today? What did I need? They told me they wanted me to buy a, a maximum potion. Uh, focus potion. A wise decision. Thank you. Was it an endurance potion? And, uh, what was it? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Maxima and endurance. Focus potion, maxima and endurance. Okay. What can I do for you today? Focus. A wise decision. Maximum. Thank you. Okay. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yeah, focus potion and maximum potion and endurance. So we're gonna Hello, help with deliveries. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Mm. I'd rather not deal with difficult people, but for a reward, I think I can manage. Indeed. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Revelio. Oh. I ain't got no way to pull the pictures back up. Shit, that was an accident. Somewhere out of town where I can jump on this broom.
I actually don't mind flying on a broom. It's actually cool to see everything like this. I don't fly over no like military base or anything like that. That's gonna be crazy. But it's cool you actually able to do this in the game though. I'm gonna say it again. Anybody who didn't buy this game because of that little uproar is doing themselves a huge disservice. We're almost there though. Always late that Pippin. Hey, rudeness. Got your stuff. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a cannot out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. I'd rather not. Why do I feel like she's trying to set me up? Like, if I drink it, was she going to say that she didn't get the three potions that she... If I drink it, she'd probably say that she didn't get the three potions that she was supposed to get. But if I do drink it... But if I if I do drink it, she'd probably say she didn't get the three potions that she was supposed to get. But if I don't drink it, she'd probably... Damn. Look, and I ain't scared, though. Bottoms up. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Does she have anything for sale? What are we looking for today? Ooh, I got a lot of those. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. At least we can just fast travel back.
You know, now that I think about it, bro, this, they did a pretty good damn job. Because they made this map in this game big as hell. I actually like it. Hogsmeade, here I come. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? <sighs> it was no problem. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. I like an additional fee. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best Good of again. luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. I don't work a cheat. Give me that bread. <laughs> 500 Gideons. Ain't gonna use me for your labor and think I ain't gonna charge extra. Anyway, what's next? Cache in the castle. I don't, I'm gonna find that later. I can just use these right here because I don't need them for combat. At least not right now. I don't. I just want to get this out the way. All right, potions class.
There we go, damn. Rebellion. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Your pulso. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Oh, it's a repel. Was a track was repel. It, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. What if I do it on him? Revelio. spells for this one. Room of requirement. Speaking of which, I gotta go back to my common room and drop off these tokens. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder.
Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. Revelio. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. This is interesting. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Oh, wait a minute. Is that ages, perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment. My old you expect school it. Let me know if you want to meet again. I wondered where that had got to. Revelio. Can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Accio! Rebellion. Akio. Akio. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Revelio! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Tonight I needed it. a bath. Cheeky thing. Revelio. 
How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find <laughs> out. <laughs> school uniform was there something else back there rebellion oh that was it okay Self can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. For you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. 
One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Well, unlike this description, use it to reveal the magical properties of unidentified gear. Nothing to identify, for now at least. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. If we got two spells for this. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Cool. Gothic, electric, and botanical, scientific, or electric. I'm gonna put it on the side. I thought they was gonna be put it on the table. Change any color we want. Well. A sufficient bunch of the consciousness I have.
Let's draw a potting table. Uh, oh. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Got that. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Decorations are
big table. We are good now. I've more to teach you about transfiguration.